amazing people i'm janet solomon and welcome back to my channel today we are diving into the captivating realm of text to image technology that is turning words into picture that talk using your mobile version of CapCut. it has become popular lately and there has been a surge in creativity as people harness the power of text to generate images and bring them to life making them talk right from their smartphones it's an exciting blend of artistry and technology and in this video i will be your guide as we explore how you can join on this phone using CapCut on your mobile device okay i know this sounds interesting right but before we dive in if you are new here please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss out on any of my latest content because this is what i will be giving you every time so without further ado let's dive into the video going to be needing two applications to achieve this one is CapCut and the other one is photoshop if you don't have photoshop on your phone or CapCut, you can follow these steps to download it open your app store or play store and right here you can see search search for photoshop express once you see it tap on it i have it already so i'm not going to download it again so on your case you will click on get or you download now go back to your app store again and search for CapCut or go to your play store and search for CapCut and download it. On iPhone, it's going to show get, so you get it. Now the next thing we are going to do is to generate our character, the image you want to use your prompt to generate. So you are going to open up your CapCut and right up here, you will see text to image. So select it and this is the prompt I will be using. I have it already i say and i i said african black anime character of 25 year old with calm list, lipstick i use a calm lipstick because they didn't allow any word like nude or sex or something so you can't type it if you type anything like that the image is not going to be generated it's going to flag an error so this is my text with blue shirt female sitting in an office with a laptop in her front facing the camera straight long hair the image should be in landscape format so i'm going to leave this prompt in the information box so in case you need it you can always go there to copy it and use it for yourself or you can modify it and use it for yourself now since this image is for youtube i'm going to change the scale of this image by tapping on these three lines right here and you will choose this one that has 16.9 because that is youtube format now the fun part of this is that you can upload your own image and this AI will use it as a reference to generate your own kind of image for you with the prompt you've provided already. You can see this thing beside these three lines. Just tap on it and select the image you want. I'm selecting this one because I want the AI to use this one as my reference. Now, it's asking you if you want it to reference the human face or you want it to reference this image as an object. If you want it to reference human face, it's just going to pick the face of this object, of this human, and use it to generate your image. That is, the image is going to have the face of this person. And if you want it to use this object, it's going to pick the whole of your image and leave the other background and use the image with another background to generate your own prompt for you now you can see i tap on human face and i just pick just the face of this human and now that i select on the object you can see it's just going to pick that object and add another background entirely so once you are done just click on add and the next thing is for you to now click on generate and the ai will automatically generate the image for you mind you for you to be able to do this you need an internet so you need to own your data or connect to wi-fi for you to be able to use this so wait for a while and your image will be generated once the image is generated the next thing is for you to pick the one you want and save it to your phone for me i like this one i'm just going to click on it and you see this save tap on that save and it's going to save to your device after the AI has finished generating your image for you, if there is anything you want to add and you feel like, oh, you've forgotten and you want to add, do not panic. You can always do that by clicking on refine 
is right here and you can now add whatever text you need to do whatever modification you need to do and once you are done click on generate again and it's going to regenerate your prompt just like the first one pick any one you want and save it to your device the next thing we are going to do is to work on the image we've generated earlier by going to the to our photoshop we downloaded to clean the mouth of that character so open up your photoshop and we are now going to click on select more photos so it's going to take us to where your pictures are saved and i'll select on my character this one right here and i will add it so you click on it again on your character again the blue one and it's going to open up this place and the next thing you're going to do is to scroll to your right and you will see this hill you click on it and zoom in your image so that you can see it very well Now I'm going to reduce it a little bit to like 14 to make it smaller. And I'm just going to clean the mouth of this image. You clean it neatly and nicely. So now that I'm done with the cleaning, the next thing you are going to do is to zoom out. Zoom out very well so you see what you've done so far. If you are satisfied, then you will now download it to your folder. By clicking on that arrow and you save it to your folder. Now that the image is saved, the next thing you are going to do is to open up your CapCut again and click on New Project. Once you click on New Project, select on the image you just finished cleaning and you click on Add. The image is here. The next thing we are going to do is make elongate it and we are now going to bring in the image of the moving mouth. I mean the video of the moving mouth. I'm going to leave it in the description box. If you want this mouth you can always download it so i will click on overlay and come to videos this is my moving mouth so i will select it add it the next thing i'm going to do is to scroll to the right here you can see remove bj select it and click on chroma key now move that chroma key to where there is green and the next thing is for you to reduce the intensity, which is here. Move it way back to 100%. The shadow, reduce it a little bit, maybe to like 50% is fine. Or 52 is actually fine. The next thing you are going to do is to adjust this mouth to where the mouth is before. Something like this. So let me play it and see what it's like. So now this is how it's going to be. The mouth is there and the next thing you are going to do is reduce it. Tap on the mouth. Tap on split and delete the remaining parts. The next thing is for you to now tap here to download it to your phone. And tap on save to device after exporting the video the next thing is for you to do your voice over of what you want the your character to be saying or you add your your audio to the to your character since the moving mouth is working already the final step is to add effects I will, i'm going to quickly add my own voice over then we can add the effect please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing and hit on the notification bell just to keep you updated whenever I upload a new content. Bye for now and I will see you next time. Now to the final step is to add effect. In this particular place, I'm going to add effects here where it's saying, please don't forget to subscribe. So what I'm going to do now is to come here and select this effect. I want the image to zoom in. So what I'm going to do is select on that effect video effect and you click on lens and you scroll down i'm sorry about the noise in my background and here you can see zoom lens Don't forget to support click on my it. channel by subscribing you can also for the speed you can reduce the speed here 
so forget to support my channel right here forget to support and you click check please don't forget to support my channel let's try to increase it a bit it's too slow please don't please don't forget to support my channel please don't forget to please don't forget to support my channel by please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing so the last effect i'm going to add is just here i'll click on the image click on split and i'm just going to animate it to shake it a little bit so i'll click on this rock horizontally just to shake it a little bit like that and if you want to add light like the the light i use in my intro video you will just click on effect video effect and you come to light and just add a little bit of light but for this particular one doesn't need a lot of light because it's just a simple thing we don't want to put too much thing and then it's now looking somehow uh, come to okay here so i added this light the other I time so you can add something like this click on it again and reduce the glow and reduce the speed intensity should be reduced blur should be reduced reduce the glow and basically just do you be creative with it and and that's just it forget to support my channel by subscribing and hit on the notification bell just to keep you updated whenever i upload a new content bye for now and i will see you next time